Okay, so for example, number 2, if y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 10, when x is equal to 2, find y when x is equal to 10. So ang gagawin muna natin dito ay, of course, yung first step natin, we are going to write the formula for the inverse variation. So y is equal to k over dx. Then afterwards, identify natin yung given. So x, sorry, y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 2. Then afterwards, isubstitute natin yung given na to doon sa y is equal to k over x para makuha natin yung value ni k. So it will become yung y papalitan natin ng 10, k, yung x natin papalitan natin ng 2. Multiply natin both sides by 2 para makancel na siya. So cancel na yung 2 nun. So we have 2 times 10 is 20 which is equal to, cancel na yung 2, so we have k. Or, k is equal to 20. Since alam na natin na k is equal to 20, we are just going to what? To um, substitute the value of k. So we have y is equal, the value of k is 20 over x. Since x is equal to 10, papalitan natin ngayon ng value c, x ng 10. Ito yon. Substitute natin siya ngayon. So, y is equal to 20 over 10. y is equal to 20 divided by 10 is 2. So, the value of y is 2. So, if x, y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 2, that means x, y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 10. So, and they are exactly uh, kabaligtaran. Kung si x ay 2, si y ay 10. Kung si x ay 10, si y ay definitely 2. So wait for the upload ng part 3 ng video na to. Dito, papakita ko lang sa, sa inyo yung key ideas of inverse variation. So yung mga key ideas are as follows. First, we say that y varies inversely with x if y is expressed as the product of some constant number k and the reciprocal of x. Yung example natin sa previous na part ng ating video ay ang x is equal to 2 when y is equal to 10. And, sorry, x is equal to 10 naman when y is equal to so, kapag kinuha natin yung quotient ng mga yan, it will yield with a constant na answer. So, uh, ganun din yung uh, rule natin sa inverse variation. So, ganun yung rule natin sa inverse variation. Pag kinuha natin yung uh, product nila, it will yield with the same answer. So, 2 times 10 is 20, 10 times 2 is also 20. Next, however, the value of k can't be equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng constant natin sa inverse variation cannot be equal to 0. Next, isolating k on one side, it becomes clear that k is the fixed product of x and k and y. That means, multiplying x and y always yields a constant output of k. So, yun nga yung sinasabi ko kanina na uh, ang formula natin, gawin natin y ito. Ang formula natin ay y is equal to k over x. Pag in-isolate natin si x, magiging k is equal to y times dx. So, pag ito ginamit natin, it will become k is equal to 2 times 10, which is 20. And then, uh, k is equal to 10 times 2, which is also equal to 20. So, constant yung k natin. Next, example, tell whether y varies inversely with x in the table below. So, meron tayong titong table, identify natin if it varies directly with, if y varies inversely with x. If yes, write an equation to represent for the inverse variation. So, yung given natin ay x na may 2, 4, 6, 8 corresponding y values na 12, 6, 4, 3. So, yung solution natin dito for the table to have an inverse variation kung sa direct variation, nag-divide tayo dito, 
we are going to get the product for all pairs of x and y in the data set and that must be the same. So, dapat the same ang kanilang magiging sagot. So, kung again, kung sa direct variation, dinidivide natin para makakuha tayo ng the same na answer para masabi natin direct variation siya. Sa inverse variation, imumultiply natin at pag nakakuha tayo ng the same na answer, that means inverse variation siya. So, we have ayan, 2, 12. So, 2 times 12 is 24. 4 times 6 is also 24. 6 times 4 is 24. 8 times 6 is 24. So, it yields with a constant k na 24. So, ang magiging formula natin ay y is equal to k over x. y is equal to yung k papalitan lang natin ito. Nung 24 na yon so 24 over x. So, ito na yung ating equation. Wait for part 4 ng ating video. Thanks for watching.